guys, it's Bethany. Today's video will be my updated skincare routine. My last skincare routine that I posted was, I believe, three years ago. Really, what has happened to my skin in the past year or so and what I did to transform it. Just as a disclaimer, this is my experience with my skin and since not everyone has the same skin, but there was basically this one brand that transformed and worked so well with my skin basically around i think last year around winter i had these breakouts and i wasn't sure if it was hormonal acne if it was from my diet like maybe from uh, abrasive skincare i really wasn't sure what the problem was it was just really red and inflamed there is actually this youtuber her name is leah Yu, and she has really helped me um i watched like all of her videos on skincare and she's really knowledgeable about the ingredients that are in skincare she helps you choose like what's right for your skin she is the founder of crave beauty which is her own skincare brand and that is actually the skincare brand that changed my skin. It's her skincare brand. I bought all of her products and this is just me telling you guys my experience and I want to share with you what may work for somebody out there with the same type of skin as I do, which I have oily, acne prone skin. I just love the message that Crave Beauty has to press reset on your skin and just to put on your skin what it needs. I love how she's transparent about the ingredients that are in her products she would put like the percentage and the ph on the packaging itself for me it was a little bit pricey and i usually bought affordable skincare that was like you know like under 15 dollars or so but i took the step to buy her skincare which was like 20 30 dollar range but i'm so happy i made that decision so to start with my morning routine i don't cleanse in the morning actually i just want to avoid over cleansing because cleansing has always been a problem with drying out my skin so in the morning basically i just splash my face with water wash it and then i really just moisturize and then i protect to moisturize i use her crave beauty oh so simple water cream this consistency is like lightweight moisturizer kind of consistency it's not sticky at all it's not too heavy and what i do in the morning is i mix it with one to two drops of rosehip oil i use the life flow rosehip oil so this looks really small but it actually lasts me quite a long time this is my second purchase of this bottle actually i think i'm gonna stop using this i used three packets of this rosehip oil sample and i'm just in love with it because consistency of it is so much more natural real rosehip oil is like a rich amber color this rosehip oil from aromatica has a really nice color i feel like the quality of this rosehip oil is just much better so i'm looking to invest in this one and you can also find this one on yes style after i make my own concoction of moisturizer i then put on the crave beauty beat the sun sunscreen this is probably literally my holy grail i will never use another sunscreen after this i just don't put sunscreen on every day because the smell of it is i just can't stand the smell of sunscreen and yes you are supposed to wear sunscreen every single day this has helped me to actually follow that rule and put on sunscreen every day the consistency is just so amazing there's no white cast no smell and it actually has beetroot in it so it it's like antioxidant rich that's really amazing for a sunscreen the only thing that kind of like stopped me from buying this is the price i think for 20 dollars, like the tube is like really puny and i don't know how long it would last me yet i'm still going through this bottle i will definitely repurchase this again because this product is definitely worth the money if you want like a dupe to a sunscreen that's also good that i used to use this etude house sunscreen and it was also working pretty well for me consistency of it was really lightweight and there was no white cast 
but I just can't like stand the smell of sunscreen so this has like kind of like a sunscreen smell if you don't mind that this is a really good affordable option um, on yes style it's like super cheap so nighttime my nighttime skin routine so I would double cleanse at nighttime take off all that makeup with an oil cleanser DHC cleansing oil this is made in Japan and I have used this like three bottles of this already I love this stuff it really just melts down all of your makeup and it's so amazing and then I would cleanse with the matcha hemp hydrating cleanser this is also one of my favorite products in her line probably the sunscreen and this cleanser but really I like all the products but these two are definitely the best and my favorite I have used like five cleansers probably in like the past and every single one has just made my skin feel tight and dry afterwards and this is really the only cleanser that makes my skin feel hydrated after I cleanse. This is her Crave Beauty Matcha Hemp Cleanser. This has 40% matcha and it has oats, almonds, hemp seeds vitamin b5 and just a lot of good stuff in here after i cleanse and do all that i tone so i don't have like a traditional toner because in place of that i use a chemical exfoliant every day it's a very gentle chemical exfoliant i use paula's choice bha i did a lot of research on choosing what active i should use for my skin concerns and i chose salicylic acid because i have blackheads and sebaceous glands just a lot of clogged pores i feel so salicylic acid helps penetrate deeper into the skin to unclog those pores and also just a random mention i use these innisfree toner pads and they just really soak up the product well i love how this is lightweight absorbs quickly i've been using this for probably about like three months and it's been pretty good so i use this as a chemical exfoliant then after that basically i just do one last step which is i made my own concoction of her crave beauty great barrier relief i mix it in with like two drops of tamanu oil which if you watch Leah Yu, she will tell you that this was like her holy grail, really reduced hyperpigmentation and just all um, acne scarring and it's just really good at healing the skin. So after all the hype around Tamanu oil, I tried it and I have been using this for over a year. I started to just use Tamanu oil alone and it worked great. I just put it on my like uh, spots where I had scarring or hyperpigmentation I didn't put it all around my skin once I got the great barrier relief shortly after that I started to mix about two pumps of this and then two drops of tamanu oil I use the life flow pure tamanu oil I feel like it's really saved my dehydrated skin um, this great barrier relief has tamanu oil sunflower oil rosehip oil vitamin th vitamin b3 ceramide and cholesterol this is actually 10 percent tamanu oil already this serum is just so rich it has so much good stuff in it i love it so much i saw improvement in my skin like immediately after like a month of using this i really feel like simplicity is key and you don't always have to put on everything to make your skin better sometimes simplicity is better that's what worked for me cutting down my skincare routine to just the bare necessities and what my skin was craving by the way all her products are fragrance free yes i love fragrance in products it smells so good but i don't feel like it's necessary and it was irritating my skin and then also at night if my skin feels really extra dry that day i would use an overnight mask which is this Cosrx overnight rice mask this is so good it has no fragrance it literally has i'm pretty sure it has like 68.9 percent of rice extract in here and after putting like a thin layer of this it's just really nourishing and really good product once in a while i would do like face mask or wash off mask and i would actually do my own diy face mask so i use these little like 
compressed mask that I bought from YesStyle. You just plop these into your own like toners in your essences and I do like DIY snail face mask, DIY matcha. If you guys want a video, like a whole separate video on how I do my DIY face mask and my DIY wash off mask, let me know in the comments or actually like this video to so I can make sure that you guys want more content like this. But yeah, I'll make a whole separate video on that and how I did my own DIY stuff. Basically, that's pretty much it. A lot of people would think that I did 20 steps or something to change my skin. What it was is I was using too many products, killing my skin and killing my wallet. It was just really unnecessary and probably one of the worst products I would just not recommend to you guys or just to sensitive skin people is using a abrasive physical exfoliator like the sugar scrubs. I love the feeling that it gave you afterwards, just feeling clean and fresh, but it was making my skin more and more irritated and breaking that skin barrier. I did it like twice a week and it was just horrible and I'm pretty sure it made my skin more sensitive. That's like probably something that I regret using and probably not looking at the ingredients of the skincare the skincares that I was buying and just buying it for the hype. I realized that a lot of the skincares that I bought that were really hyped up had like alcohol in it and it had fragrance and a lot of essential oils which also is not like I feel like it was wasn't doing anything for my skin it was just clogging it up you know just simplicity is key only put on what your skin needs and not a bunch of extra stuff. <laughs> I forgot to mention that I actually use this humidifier every night. So I got this humidifier from Amazon. One day I woke up in the winter in the morning and my skin was flaking on my cheeks and it was so dry. Skincare products were doing fine and I was using the same routine for a long time. So I actually went and got this humidifier thermometer thing and it told me actually that my room was like 25 percent humidity or something the 25 or 30 i'm i don't remember but i just remember it was really low and then i invested in this humidifier and it has a night light which is really like cute at night so humidity in your room guys check that <laughs> I really hope you guys found this video helpful, some of you enjoyed watching it, and remember to like, subscribe, and comment. Also let me know if you guys want to see that DIY um, face mask and DIY wash off mask video. Just leave a like, and I'll make that video coming up real soon. Stay tuned, and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye!